Hi guys, here's my let's play of Act 2 in Deathless Mode with Isa. So this is the second desert and I had my best equipment on, mainly it's gems at this point, that's the best I have. And you see that Isa is on Awakening 17 and this is her first Deathless Mode playthrough. And I thought I'd show you the equipment in the Deathless Mode store. So you'll only see this in the store when you're in Deathless Mode. But you do need a lot of gold to buy it. <laughs> and obviously you have to buy it with gold that you make in Deathless Mode. So you basically start off with zero. So my first Titan was MX Elite and I wasn't going to try and crack his step backs by dodging. I decided to, you know, parry his step backs and then they end faster. And he was down fast because this dark fire I'm using really helps in deathless mode early on. The deathless mode levels at a different rate to your normal mode. It's got its own leveling and at the beginning it's really they're really quite low level the titans and bosses but as you go up each time you complete a deathless mode quest and particularly after defeating the worker then they level quite fast so you know your first playthrough all the way through with all the acts and quests they'll be quite low and that's why I felt pretty confident to tackle it even though I've only done normal mode once so because of having this dark fire which I got from the recent Aegis tourney and there are two others in the game that you can get uh, one is from the obscure map and I will be getting that later on. At this point I felt one was enough <laughs> and also I haven't got another slot to put two dark fires in my gear with Issa but with Cyrus I've upgraded one of his shields so that I will have two slots, a, a star slot in the shield so I will be able to put in two dark fires but uh, I haven't gone and got that yet. But as I go further into Deathless Mode, you know, and get towards Act 5 with Radriar and the Worker, I'll probably get the two for that point. And the other dark fire in the game is from Pisces Dragon. And you find Pisces once you've defeated the first dragon, Bael. So there's three dragons in the game. But anyway, here I am in the second desert and I did have an, a near tragedy with this Titan. He did get me, but you know, I was still confident to get him and I did. And I recommend storing up your health potions so that if you do need to use them in deathless mode, they're there so although they do only cost 25 chips which isn't very much so I used my health potion to top my health up and I have got second chance that's one of the first skills that I try to go for actually it's definitely worth it going for, to get second chance especially if you're going to take on deathless mode because if you die, then you know you, you have one more go before you're defeated. But all these other titans, I wasn't having any problem with. And I was using Issa's Blade of Eridun, which is her highest weapon, with also the square slots, so that I had the space for the dark fire. And I got that from defeating the Collector. It's got 550 attacks, so that's really good in combination with that 1000 Dark Fire. And to upgrade the Dark Fire, I've got a video about that, so check out the description to find out how to upgrade it. Ultimately, you can get it up to 128,500, which is overkill at this stage, obviously. 
But later on in the game, you do need it because the Titans do get really quite high. So I was buying other gear in this deathless mode and another weapon, but I wasn't going to use it because I really wanted the dark fire. But it will be handy for normal mode so that I've got you know more gear to master. And as you probably know, if you master your gear, that's how you level up. When you level up, you get stat points and that's how you can get your skills. And with Issa, I'm working on free gem removal because it's all very well having the dark fire, but it costs 50,000 gold to take it out. So, and I've also got the rare attack gem 250 that I got from the Warriors map and you can check out a video on that in the description again and I've also got an extra 200 attack gem which which is a capped one and I got that from a rare gem wheel that I got from completing a clash mob so it's really good idea when you're low level to enter in as many clash mobs as you can so now I'm reaching Terravax, the boss, and he can have a few sneaky moves, so I did equip a health potion, just in case. And however, my fears were pretty unjustified, and when you see the fight, and with Nullify, that takes his Spectrum defense away, so he gets the full force of that dark fire attack and so there you can see he was down really fast as fast as any of the rest of the titans so that was great i've got through act two and act three will be next see you then thanks for watching tamil channel your favorite channel for infinity blade if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and check out my website and social pages thanks see you next time